Hello, Edwards, and welcome to this video on organizing your restaurant in Odoo. When running a restaurant, you may face a few challenges, organizing tables, managing floor plans, and ensuring that your orders are handled seamlessly. Luckily for you, in this tutorial, we will walk uh, through setting everything up together step by step. So grab a seat and let's bring your restaurant to life. First things first, let's set up our restaurant configuration in point of sale, configuration and settings. From there, we will search for our restaurant in the point of sale drop down right here. It's already selected. Uh, but just keep in mind that if you didn't create a restaurant beforehand, you would be you would ideally do as right now. Click on new shop and enable is a bar restaurant option. But obviously it's been done here. So for now, we'll just go into our floors and tables section. Click on floors right here and we will quickly go ahead and click on new to create a new floor. So let's give it a name. We will call it the main floor. And another thing that we need to do is just make sure that we assign our point of sale from the drop down here. And also to visual, just to visually match our restaurant, what we can do is add a top view picture. So I'll just do it right here, just to represent what our restaurant actually looks like. And now that we have our floor in place, we can go ahead and add a table. So we can just do it here, give it the table number, Let's say one, I also decide how many people it will seat. So I'll say four. And um, we can go ahead and keep adding tables here, but actually it will be much easier and we will have more options if we create our table in the front end. So let's go and take a look at what that's like. So open register in a restaurant. And you can see <clears throat> I have my restaurant represented and I have my amazing floor plan ready for me. If I open the burger menu here and click on edit plan. I'll be able to add uh, three more tables, for example, just by clicking here. Each time a new table is immediately created. And then I can also just move them to match the layout a little bit better, just with a drag and drop like this. Um, I can also adjust their size accordingly by simply also dragging and dropping my mouse. Um, and since the tab this table is square, I can also change the shape just by clicking on this. Now, if I wanted to change several tables at once, all I need to do is just hold down my control key uh, or CMD if you're using a Mac and select the tables that I want to edit. And then any changes I make are immediately applied to all of my tables. So now all of my tables are circular, like I wanted it. So the same logic also would apply to any other configuration, like the number of seats, which is here. I can put four. Um, or also selecting a color, for example. So we could put a nice orange color for my tables here. And of course, if I want to cre create another table exactly like the ones that I already have, all I have to do is click on my table and then select this duplicate option here and I have another table immediately created with the same configuration. So I'll finish setting up the rest of my tables off screen, but for now our floor plan is ready to use. So let's actually just save that and let's take it for a spin. <laughs> so um, let's say that our customers came in and are seated on the table three. I just click on it. I can select the items that they uh, would like to order and proceed with my order. Everything is immediately linked to the table, as you can see here. So that was easy, right? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. That's it for setting up the tables in your restaurant. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching.